Modernism was an international cultural movement which affected literature and the arts in the first decades of the 20th century. Modernists were against tradition and Western values. They rejected the heritage of classical literature. They interrupted the feather to sound transmission of classical knowledge, literature, art and science. Modernist artists must speak with tradition, particularly with the religious and political view of the past. Everything in the world is how we per- perceive it. We create reality by our perception of it. All truth is relative. There is not absolute truth. History is a negative thing. Only the present is important. Ezra Pound was a modernist poet known for his innovative approach to writing. He believed in the power of language to evoke emotion and ideas, often using vivid imagery, unconventional syntax, and allusion to mythology and history. He was also a key figure in promoting and supporting other modernist writers, such as T.S. Eliot and James Joyce. Our pound legacy is complicated by his controversial and political view and action, particularly his support for fashion during World War II. The most important work of Ezra Pound are In a Station of the Major, The Cantos and Usura. In a Station of the Major is the shortest famous poem in modern poetry and the title tells us where we are. Pound walks the three, uh, streets of Paris and sees crowds of people getting out of the subway as they are from the world of the dead. The syntax is compromised and the perception is urban but also timeless. At first, it is a 30 line poem but is cutting things down and elimination words, using Japanese and Chinese poetry as models for this. The Cantos is a series of incomplete epic poems incorporating a wide range of themes, styles and languages. The characters of the Cantos are divided into three groups, those who enjoy their hellish state and remain the same, those who experience a metamorphosis and racing to get out of darkness, and those who became leaders of the mass moving toward the land of light. In the end of the poem, he appealed to make need to improve the human condition and not to become the destroyers. Usura. Ezra Pound, ever since he left the United States, began his reflection on economy and when he coming into contact with the fascism, Pound finds in Mussolini and in Italian fascism a powerful vessel of his own economy uh, ideas. For Pound, usury is the cancer of the world, and the capitalism caused a transformation in exchange value of money. In capitalism, people tend to believe the, uh, that power and value in, uh, are inside money. But before capitalism, the process was CMC, now is MCM, process which becomes for Marx the general formula for capital. They, uh, the aim of the capitalists, become making more money, which Ezra Pound called usury. Elliot was born in the United States. He was a poet, an essayist, and a literary critic. He became a British citizen and he converted to Anglicanism. He theorized the medical method, the objective correlative, and the, the, the impersonal of the artist. The mythical method is the continued comparison to when so, uh, the story made sense. It is uh, the opposite of the narrative method. The impersonality of the artist is an, ac- uh, is an act of self-sacrifice. The poet's task is not to, pre- uh, to present but to represent, not to say but to show. The object correlative gives the universal formula of an emotion. The poet's task is to give a universal formula is uh, in order to evoke that emotion and only that.
The Westland. In the fragmentation of Eliot poems, the Westland is an example of modernist poetry and represents the fragmentation of Western civilization. The Westland is a set in post war Europe, especially in the Austrian Empire, which was in decadence. It is the broken, uh, br uh, breakdown of European culture and society. The 20th century can be considered a, um, as a heap of broken images. The 20th century witnessed totalitarian regimes. World War, there was a common sense of frustration and generation conflicts. The old generation, the father, were guilty of deaths, violence, imperialism, exploitation. The Westland expressed the psychology effect of a way on humanity. Eliot's poem is a heap of broken images. It represents a world that has been radically uh, destroyed and made sterile by wear and its um, consequences. Millions of lives have been destroyed by war and those uh, who have survived feel uh, guilty. Uh, what reminds of the mythical past is a, a desolate post-war land in uh, uh, which life is paralyzed and the future is uncertain. James Joyce was born in Dublin in 1882. He was educated at a Jesuit school. He studied the modern languages. He traveled to Paris, then he married Nora Brankle. Had two kids, Giorgio and Lucia. They moved to Zurich when World War I broke out. He, uh, he died in Zurich. Dublin is a collection of 15 short stories about people living in Dublin who were uh, obsessed by British cultural imperialism, by economy problems, by moral constraints, linked to religio uh, religion, politi politics, and culture. The dominant themes of the fifth and short stories is the failure to find a way out of the paralysis. Each short story opens in me uh, media stress when a touring poet is going to occur in the life of the protagonist. The critical method is called an epiphany. Uh, an epiphany is a sudden manifestation of a hidden or removed truth, a fear on a sacred wish. Evelyn, uh, the story of a young uh, woman abused abs by her alcoholic father. She was uh, signed to leave to Bona uh, Buenos Aires with uh, her boyfriend Frank, but she has a song that remains her of uh, the melody she has uh, um, on the on day of mother's uh, death. Evelyn promised uh, uh, her mother to look up, uh, after two hours and keep the family together. Uh, at the dock where uh, she and Frank are about to em uh, embark, Evelyn decides to uh, not to leave. Evelyn is a paralyzed uh, is, uh, in her horrible life. The Dead. Gabriel Connery is a college professor in the literary critic. Gabriel and Greta, his wife, uh, are at a Christmas party at Gabriel's aunt's. Uh, three uh, um, uh, unmarried wo uh, women. On the night, uh, Greta hears a song that remains uh, about Guy, uh, Michael Furey, who used to sing it and who died uh, did for her love when he was 17. Greta is uh, still thinks about uh, the song they bo That Boy. Gra uh, Gabriel asked her, What did he do of? I think uh, um, he did for me. Greta's answer is a real epiphany for Gabriel. He has never had anything or anyone to live or to die for. His life appears to him for what is, uh, it is empty. A portrait of the artist as a young man is an autobiographical story of Stephen Del Dedalus, a young Irish writer. He is a rebel against his family, his religion, his nation. I will not serve is his, uh, his, his motto, the phrase which Lucifer uh, outreed when he uh, rejected God. Stephen is the first uh, Christian uh, martyr. Uh, uh, is a martyr of art. He goes on a voluntary exile to France to break the rules and live uh, his life as an artist. In Ulysses, Stephen Dedalus returns to Dublin. He uh, has failed as an artist. No, he is only a simple teacher. The story is set in Dublin uh, uh, on a single day. Stephen has a, a lot uh, 
has lost his fragile figure, another doubleness, Leopold Bloom, uh, to emotional crisis, uh, the loss of uh, his father and uh, of his son, and the infidelity of his wife, Molly Bloom. Stephen Leopold and Molly correspond to Telemachus, Ulysses and his wife, Penelope. Joyce made a contrast a parallel between antiquity to present time. Every character, every ep ep episode is linked to uh, the Odysseys. Samuel Beckett was born in Dublin. He was influenced by French existentialism. Existentialism saw so men tripped in a still world. Human life was meaningless and this created a sense of confusion, hopeless and empathy. Beckett is considered the father of the theatre of the absurd. The first form of theatre was the theatre of anger. The second form of theatre was the theatre of the absurd. The main themes of Beckett's works are men alienation, the quality of human life, Samuel Beckett's masterpiece, Waiting for Godot. In the work, all the characters are tripped in a sim uh, uh, situation from which they cannot ex escape an absurd situation. Waiting for Godot has no plot. On stage, the characters talk about don't really, uh, really communicate. They uh, do not act. They uh, do not, uh, nothing. Nothing. All the day do discussing, but discussing about nothing, just to fill their time and avoid silence because silence indicates a em emptiness and absurdity. Uh, Theory of Absurd, we only know the names of the characters on stage, uh, two uh, vagabonds, Estragon and Vladimir Didi, Pozzo the boss and Lucky the slave, and a boy uh, on Announcing the arrival uh, of Godot, uh, who never gets uh, to the end of a uh, act.